Good morning, my squish. I know you're hungry. Good morning, everyone. So it is nine o'clock in the morning, and it is Tuesday, the thirtieth of June. See, that's amazing, that is. So we've been awake for about an hour now, haven't we, Squish? And Jamie is well. He's actually got the day off today, but um, he said that he'd cleaned someone's conservatory for quite a bit of money. So. As the wedding's coming up and a certain someone's birthday, we decided that he said he'd do it, so. Um, yes, today is mainly going to be tidying and cleaning, as usual. Um, the living room is a mess, as usual. Always is when I see you guys. Um, apparently, we've got someone cleaning the mould today, which um, I'll show you how bad it's got. And that's, that's not even the worst of it. The bedroom's ten times worse. But, um, I'm not holding my breath because they've told us so many times now they're sending someone out to do it but it's not happened but yeah I'll let you know in case it does um, so yes I just wanted to show you all Jacob he, I got him up at about quarter to eight and let him play in his bedroom for a bit so in that time this is the state of his bedroom I'm going to have to start moving the wipes because the wipes were down there but now he decides he likes to pull them all out. Don't you? Are you a messy baby? Yeah. Um, the reason that sort of bar thing is there is because if I'm cooking or something I'll prefer to leave him in here um, where he can play rather than just like the playpen. Um, I need to sort myself out because I look like a yeti. Um, and yeah, I'm going to feed the baby first though, because he gets hungry. Hello, scrummy baby. Did you enjoy your breakfast? Mm. What's that? Mm. Um, because of this new routine we're doing, um, I'm waking him up early in the morning. And it looks like he's not a morning baby. Are you? Are you not a morning baby? <laughs> oh, look at those curls. <laughs> so cute. Um, yeah, so whereas normally, I know our routine has been absolutely shocking like in the past. He'd sort of go to sleep at about 1, 2 in the morning, wake up at about 10, 11, sometimes 12. And of course that meant that I was getting up at those times, which made my depression worse because by the time I got up half the day was gone um, and I didn't feel like there was any point in doing anything because you know it's gonna be bedtime soon the mold people are here they're actually here I feel like I could hug them I'm a bit annoyed though because I think they're Polish or something and they keep talking in their own language which is really irritating I don't like that the mold's gonna go okay so the mold people have just gone I think they've gone anyway, I couldn't really understand what he said. I think he said, we're going down to the car and leaving now. But he left the door on the latch, I'm not sure if he's coming back. But um, yeah, so I just want to show you really. I mean, I don't know if you remember what it was like before, but it was horrific. So yes, here's the kitchen. Just looks like a ceiling, it's amazing. I am slightly miffed though, because obviously they've moved all furniture and things and not put it back. So. There's the bathroom. Looks like a normal person's bathroom. It's amazing. And the living room. That's just a patch over there of crappily painted. It's not mould or anything. But yeah, I mean, if I was just like a single mum on my own, I'd really struggle putting all this back. Especially the curtains and things. So I'm, I don't know, I'm slightly annoyed about that to be fair. I mean, they were perfectly nice people and... You know, and it also irritated me that they spoke in their own language. I think if you're in someone's home, I think you should respect them enough to, you know, talk in English or, you know, maybe I'm just being picky, I don't know. Here's the bedroom. Completely back to normal. I'm so happy with it. It's only taken nine months for them to get it sorted. I mean, having said that, the roof still isn't fixed, so it will come back. Um, but for now, you know. I'm not looking at those horrible black mould, so I think now it's getting on for lunch time, so I'm going to give Jacob some lunch. They must be coming back, they've left their stuff. 
Oh, okay. Um, anyway, yes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give Jacob some lunch now. Um, going to sort out the kitchen sides and stuff. I've put all the stuff in the dishwasher. Um, so, and clean the floor. Hello, gorgeous. He slept for the most of the time they were here. But you were giving them lovely smiles when you were awake, weren't you? Weren't you? Yeah, so I wanted to have like a proper action-filled morning of cleaning and things so I could have the rest of the day to chill in the sun, but that's not happened. Um, hopefully by the time Jamie gets back later, um, everything will be done so we can sit in the garden. That would be nice. I have well and truly eaten my words. Um, after about five minutes after I last left you, um, they came back up with um, like a, a huge roller thing and um, painted the ceilings as well. And then they put everything back where it was supposed to be, curtains, and painted the ceiling. I'm, I'm really, really chuffed. They're absolutely lovely blokes. I am. Um, yeah, look at that. Whole bedroom back to normal. As messy as it was. Oops. But, um, yeah, I've tidied the kitchen and cleaned the bathroom. I've tidied a bit of the, um, living room. It still needs hoovering and stuff. <coughs> but right now, that garden is calling me. I think we need to go downstairs and enjoy the sun. Because, to be honest, the cleaning can be done any day. But it's not often that it's this beautiful outside, so... Yes, I think they're gorgeous. Mm. You got mummy's phone. You're so gorgeous. No, don't do that. Have you got your sun cream on? You sat very still. Hmm. <laughs> This is our garden. It's communal, but it's only us really and the next door neighbours that use it, isn't it? I've got my pasty whites out. I know, let's just not go there. They're literally as pale as paper. Even Jacob has more colour than me. Mm. Oh, thank you. Come and kiss it. He's got you got broccoli up your nose. <laughs> Hi everyone. So we've just come inside because Jacob was being an absolute nightmare. I mean, I don't actually know what to do because. Like, no matter what I do, where I am, he just always wants to be, like, not just near me, but on me. And, like, I was sat down, I was trying to play toys with him and blowing bubbles and stuff like that. But all he wanted to do was, like, climb on me. And I know it sounds really pathetic, but, like, when he grabs me and pinches me, it really hurts. Like, it feels like he's only happy when he's making a mess or hurting me. I know it sounds really stupid, but I don't know, like, who else I could tell, really. I don't know, it sounds silly, but I just I feel like I spend the whole day just waiting for bedtime, which is just not fair on him. And I don't know if it's my fault, you know, am I not playing with him enough? Am I not doing enough with it?
I just would try really hard to sit down and play toys with him. I'd try different toys. We've bought him new toys. And other stuff, but all he's interested in is grabbing and pulling at me. And I, and I know it's what babies do, but this is just ridiculous. Like, I feel like I spend my whole time cleaning and tidying. And then Jamie comes home and he messes it all up. And Jacob is just like a tornado behind me. I feel like the whole place is a mess all the time. Hey guys, so I should say sorry for that meltdown earlier. Um, I'm not normally one to cry in front of the camera. Um, but yeah, I just I felt like I needed to let it out and you guys have got the brunt of it sorry <laughs> um but yeah i've sort of calmed down a bit since and it was literally just because it was all happening at once like the people had left the mold people and the place was a mess and i was struggling i was also quite tired because i didn't sleep well last night um and i i just get really tense when the place is messy i don't like it but Yes, I know it's not his fault, you know, it's just because, you know, gorgeous. <laughs> He's just doing what babies do. Hello, handsome. I've taken his top off because he's a hot baby. No, that's mummy's bracelet. No, there's mummy's bracelet. <gasps> Have you made a mess of the DVDs? And of mummy's washing. I just got to the point where I was just laying on the sofa, crying my heart out. Um, I phoned Jamie and I sort of ranted at him, but bless him, there's nothing he could do. I said, can't you come home for an hour? And he went, well, no, not really. And of course that made me upset, but yeah, I, I, I apologised to him because when I get in that state, like everyone else is wrong and I'm right. What can I say? But yeah, I, I feel a lot better now. Me and Jacob have had some cuddles, so because he knew I was upset. He's still really hot though. I don't know how to call him down. He's had plenty of juice, but um, yeah. Tomorrow we have Jamie's parents coming over. <coughs> I th oh no, sorry, his dad's working, so it's going to be his mum, his uncle, and his little brother. Um, and I'm definitely going to vlog some of that because I know they don't judge me when I bring the camera out. Um, Jacob. No. Jacob. Leave Telly alone. Jacob. Excuse me. Don't ignore me. No. Leave it alone. I can't help but laugh when he just looks at me like that and carries on anyway. But I don't touch his face, it's fine. Jacob. You're playing camera then. Which is why we our new IT technology to number seven. You funny baby. Number seven. 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 Jamie, oh god, that stinks. Jamie's got barbecue sauce and pizza. Dinner. Lovely and healthy. Jacob's busy cooking up a poo. Boo! <laughs> Boo! 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 You're such a funny baby. It's what? Boom! Ready? One. I did it together. One. Two. Three. Boom! Are you funny? Okay, 
so I think it's about seven, half seven. No, half seven. Um, and Jacob is asleep in bed. Um, well, in the bouncer. Um, for those of you that didn't watch my routine video, um, what we do is we settle him in the bouncer and then we transfer him to the cot because otherwise he'll just stand up in the cot and scream. Um, and then sort of we're going to try and just, once he's used to being in the cot, like sort of put him in the cot. I don't know. I know what I mean. But yeah, at the moment, get him sleep in the bouncer and then when he's sort of just dozing, then we put him in the cot. So yeah, anyway. Um, I think I'm going to call it a day now. I am going to leave this as a day in the life. It's a pretty crappy one because all it is is me talking and crying. Um, but yeah, tomorrow we've got a pretty busy day so I'm, I'm probably going to do another day in the life tomorrow. So yeah, my day in the life is like buses. <laughs> Don't do any for weeks and then two come along at once. Um, but yeah, I hope you've sort of enjoyed today. Um, I am sorry about my meltdown earlier but any advice would be greatly appreciated. Um, I really do struggle with him on my own. He's just, he's just quite boisterous, really, and maybe I'm a bit of a wimp. But anyway, I'm gonna have a cold shower now because I'm boiling, and I'm gonna sit in front of the fan, and God knows, I watch EastEnders. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to EastEnders. Anyway, I'm babbling. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye.